Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some cheesecake bars. These are from the Atlanta Cheesecake Company. I have the cookies and cream, strawberry crumble. And wild blueberry. These were $2.99 each at Kroger, and we found them in the, uh, the it was the bakery. The bakery. The bakery department. Yeah, where you, where they have the birthday cakes and stuff like that. You just always have to glance over in there as you're walking by uh, to see if there's anything new. And I'm glad I did because these are new to, at least in our Kroger bakery, I'd never seen them before. So this is the cookies and cream. I'll go ahead and let you open it. <laughs> you have to cut the tape. Go ahead and open it and then we'll talk Well, about you can it. pull the tape off from underneath too. So. Okay. They're so all cut. This says, sitting atop a chocolate cookie crumb crust, this unique cookies and cream cheesecake is swirled and covered with chocolate cookie pieces. No colors from synthetic sources, no artificial flavors. This is five ounces. Perishable, keep frozen or refrigerated. We bought them in the refrigerated section. We put them in the refrigerator when we got home. One serving is one bar, 142 grams. It's 540 calories. That's for the That's whole thing. That's not surprising if you think about no, it. No, it's not. <laughs> These are manufactured by Atlanta Cheesecake Company in Atlanta, Georgia. Imagine that. Okay. But sometimes they're not. Sometimes the name is very misleading. But maybe they started in Atlanta, or they just named themselves after a favorite place or something. You just never know. Go ahead. Like those New York uh, breadsticks. They don't come from New York. Okay. What's the commercial about the hot sauces? The Texas hot sauce. New York City. New York City. Okay. See how it looks like it has a ton of cookie on top, but it looks like a softer, like a devil's food kind of cookie. I can tell you that we have reviewed cheesecake slices from the Atlanta Cheesecake Company. We, there's a review on my channel if you do a search Tammy Gunn Atlanta Cheesecake Company and they were absolutely fantastic mm -hmm. we've only seen them at Meyer. they still sell them at Meyer, but they were better this brand was better than people want to go to the Cheesecake Factory frozen if you want to eat Cheesecake Factory and you can just go to the Cheesecake Factory They're because better. yeah when you buy them frozen it's not the same experience anyway um, I know they tried, but it's not. Um, but these these are better quality frozen cheesecakes than the Cheesecake Factory. It's really good. It's very Their very cheesecake good. is really, really flavorful without being like really sour like a cheesecake can be sometimes. Exactly. Uh, it's very sweet. I love those cookies. I was expecting not to like those cookies. Uh, well, you don't know if they're going to be mush. Or bitter. Right. Dark chocolate. or They're not crisp no they're soft they're like a soft baked cookie but they're not mush either so there is some there's still some texture some denseness mm -hmm. for your teeth to sink into yeah. it's not all the same texture no. it's a different texture and the crust is nice too yes it that is a very nice piece of it would remind you if you've ever bought the oreo cheesecake make it home that would kind of remind yeah. you of that Except one the cheesecake's a hundred times better um, but it doesn't taste like Oreo. Don't don't think it tastes like a no. Because Oreo cookies are kind of bitter. Yeah, that's um, that that's is not. not an it's, Oreo. A, it's a it's not even devil's food. It's more about just a chocolate cookie. Right, and they could have used Oreo, but it doesn't taste like no, Oreo. No, it doesn't look like Oreo. Uh, I don't know. It's I just know like it doesn't have the bitterness. No. no. Uh, this is the strawberry crumble sitting atop a graham crumb crust. This New York style cheesecake is swirled with strawberry filling and topped with an oatmeal crumble. Mm. 500 calories for the whole thing. Sounds good. It, it sounds good. very good. Graham cracker, oatmeal. Yeah, it's got it's got some strawberry at the other. It's not all through, but it is there for sure. I'll just go right next to you. Mm-hmm. This feels like more of a traditional cheesecake, like texture. Mm-hmm. At the very, very end, I got, I mean, like, once I swallowed the last bite, I got cinnamon. I did. That's what I was, first bite, I got cinnamon. Oh, really? Yeah, I got cinnamon. It's in well, that it crumble took a minute. Yeah, it has cinnamon. And mm -hmm. so, um, yeah, if you can't do cinnamon, you need to know that. But, um, it's excellent. 
It is very nice. Mm -hmm. The only thing is, it it has a strawberry flavor, definitely strawberry. It's not like overwhelmingly strawberry. No, no, it's not. It, but it is a not. I get a strawberry flavor. Yes. Flavor. And the strawberry is not over. It's not like they covered the whole top with a layer, which mm -hmm. they should have. Probably. Um, it would have been nice if they put a whole layer of like a strawberry gel or whatever they use and then put the crumble on top mm -hmm. and that way every bite would have a little bit of strawberry instead of it's these little pockets of strawberry. Do you think it would have made it too wet? No, I mean it's the same difference as what they did there just instead of putting it in one spot, put it Put it all out. over the whole thing. Yeah. I That's do, not my only complaint, but it's still really good. I do like it and that crumble on the top, mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of like the cookie. It's not like, like crunchy in your mouth. But it is, there is a denseness, a difference between that and the rest of it, uh, the texture difference. I think it's it's very good quality. What's good about it is, even when you don't get a piece of the strawberry, the cheesecake itself is so it's good. It's so good. That yeah. you don't mind. Exactly. Yeah, so you don't mind that you do yeah. get a piece of strawberry. So it's really just a really good cheesecake with little punches of strawberry here and there. Uh, this is, uh, so the strawberry was 500 calories. This is 520 calories. Mm. This is wild blueberry. Decadent almond cake. Oh, I'm looking forward to that now. Almond cake is swirled with real mascarpone ch uh, cheesecake and wild blueberries finished with a cinnamon almond crumble. So they're letting you know, cinnamon almond crumble. And that was, that, that story when it had cinnamon, it wasn't overpowering to me. I just got a little hit of it. Uh, but look at that. Look at all, I mean, all around. That's a lot of blueberries. That's a lot of blueberries. There's only one little corner that didn't have it all. And even the then, it's got some purple now. Yeah, <laughs> so, I mean. That looks really good. Yeah, it looks nice. It almost looks like cake instead of cheesecake. No, no. Yes. Well, it said almond cake. Yeah. I mean, the middle part even looks like cake. That is cake. Mm -hmm. It says cheesecake bar, but that's like, to me, that's cake through and through. I didn't get, a, there's no creaminess in there. It's all cake. There's a, it's a, it's a cake like cheesecake. It's cake. That, that one in particular is. No, it's, it's cake. It's cake. And there's no cheesecake. Yeah, that's cake. There's no cheesecake in that one. So It's still really good though. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's great, but. The, I, first of all, I think it's very interesting. This package mentioned cinnamon. I didn't taste any cinnamon. Mm, no. The other package didn't mention cinnamon, and, and I tasted it really strong. Mm -hmm. um, what came across in this one? This was, to me, the lightest. It's very, very light. It does have a blueberry flavor, though. I mean, yes, you really do taste the blueberry. Mm -hmm. But it is, it is a light flavor. Um, Kevin's going to go back to make sure he's picked his favorite. Um, you have to. You have to. The, the the blueberry though, I'm gonna tell you right now, that would be one that I would pass on. I just would because if I'm buying, because mm -hmm. if you're buying it for cheesecake, then it's not cheesecake. No, it's, it's a cheesecake. good slice of cake. It it is nice. I don't necessarily taste. It's an almond cake. I didn't get the almond. Honestly, the only thing I got from that was like blueberry. blueberry. It's got plenty of blueberry in there too. So yeah. if you like blueberry, you'd like it. Yeah, but that one would be my third choice out of the It would be my too. Um, and then I'm going to say the strawberry is my second choice. My first choice would be the cookies and cream. So you would go in the order we tried them. Yes. <laughs> um, but I really do like the I think the I'm going to switch to your one and two. Okay. I think I would go with it because... The cookies is really good, don't get me wrong, right. but I really like that. I would really love cheesecake, so I like the che the stronger cheesecake flavor in the strawberry. See, for me, the strongest flavor in that was not the cheesecake. It was the cinnamon. Yeah, see, I, I didn't get a lot. It was cinnamon. But so, you're more sensitive to the cinnamon, just like I'm more sensitive to the bitter. Yes, yes, you know? that's true. That's very true. So for me, I could taste the cheesecake more in the cookies and yeah. cream than I could in the strawberry. But... Any of them are good. Yes, honestly. they are. And if you want cake, then just know that this is not cheesecake. It's actually just cake. Cake. So if you want that, go for it. But if you want cheese, good, really good cheesecake, your cheesecakes are excellent. But for $3 a piece too, I think it's a good deal. If you don't want the temptation of having a whole, 
Edward's pie at home, you know, because you know you're going to eat it because it's so delicious, then this is good because it's, you know, it's for one person mm -hmm. and you can just, just eat it all. Yeah. Or half of it. Or half of it. If you got the willpower to do it. If you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.